Welcome to our series, Moving America Forward. Each week we'll be focusing on America's entrepreneurs as they take us to new roads, new opportunities, new ways to fill the gaps left by today's failing companies. Our series will be looking at that and a lot more. So come with me and watch as the entrepreneurs of our nation move into the future. And I'm Doug Llewellyn here in our studios in Los Angeles with our guest today, who is Jill Neiman Paserno. She is a business coach from Denver, Colorado, and she has developed a unique program she has called the Pure Coaching and Marketing Program. It's quite an interesting story. Let's meet her now. Again, Jill Neiman Paserno. Jill, nice to welcome you here. How are you? Thank you, Doug. I'm doing great. You know, it's very interesting. A little, while, a little while ago, you had a chance to answer some questions from William Shatner. Yes. So let's take a look at a brief portion of that and see how it went, and then we'll continue. Okay. All right, watch this. I know you are well established in your business, but, and I'm sure it wasn't easy to get started. Would you describe for me briefly what you do and how you began your business, and how do you think it's helping to move America forward? Mr. Shatner, many people across the country want to free themselves from their 9-to-5 job and work from the comfort of their home so they can spend more time with their family, friends, and move towards their dreams. My peer coaching and marketing programs help entrepreneurs get their home-based businesses up and running and continues to support them as their businesses flourish. I began my business through hard work, networking, and mentorship, and I am helping to move America forward by passing on the critical skills and the systems it takes to run a successful home-based business. You know, that's very interesting what you had to say. I'm intrigued to know what got you interested in coaching to begin with. You know, it's become a huge industry in this country. Yeah. How, how about your story? Why did you want to be a coach? Well, I kind of started out as a CPA, um, working for an America, America's leading firm in the accounting industry right. and I was in their tax department so I learned that our tax code is written for business owners so I, I figured right then and there that since there's so many deductions to take for that that I wanted to have my very own business and through my other businesses I had a consulting practice a travel business and owned some real estate holdings and through those I realized that I wanted to actually have a coaching business so that I could give back and help other people um, become entrepreneurs. And as I understand it, when you began, you actually had a coach yourself, more than one yes. even. Yes, yes, I have. Coaching is amazing. Um, when I first started, I was fumbling around a lot with what to do and where to spend my time and uh, wasted a lot of time on things that really weren't that important. But with coaches, they actually, that actually have experience, when they are able to help you with that and show you the direction to go, then you're not wasting so much time. So that kind of made me want to believe that I could do that so as well. So it really, they, they got you going yes. on, in your own business. <laughs> right, that did. Uh, and, and as I say, you've started other businesses, but now you're doing this one element of, you right. are a business coach, and you developed this unique program that you call the Pure Coaching and Marketing Program. What does that consist of? What right. is it? Well, PURE stands for actually powerfully unleashing the real entrepreneur within you. So I help people find out what they're interested in and help them in the process of what they should do first, whether they should, um, you know, what kind of business entity they should be in. I like the limited liability companies, um, how they should set up their tax ID number and their bank accounts and kind of get them started on the right foot so that they can actually... Um, so they can actually, go ahead. You, what I'm going to ask you, do you mean when most people come to you, they don't know what kind of business they want to go into and you're helping them decide? Right, I right. I find that amazing. A lot of people, they just don't want a job anymore. They just want to actually find something that they're passionate about and want to get up in the morning for. So and that's what I And if they can them. make some money out of it, all right, the more power right, to them, right? Right, absolutely. That, that is the end goal, to not have their job anymore and to make money from their business. So what do you ask them to help find out what business you think would be most appropriate for them? How do you, how do you go through that process? Well, I, I ask them several questions, you know, what they liked as, ch uh, as a child, what their interests were, you know, what they do now for fun, and just kind of see if there's something within that that they can actually have a business related to that. And for the most part, do you end up finding something? With yes, them? I do. I do. Everybody's individualized, so it's very, very hard to kind of figure out exactly who, no kidding. who wants what and where, where they should go from there. But then there are the, the business essentials. Once they decide what kind of business right. they have to go in, then it's helping them decide whether they're going to be an LLC, a corporation, or whatever, right? Right. For the and all of those other elements. They're pretty complex, at least yes. on the surface they are. 
Right. But you say it's not really that complex. Sometimes. It's not that complex after you've gone through the process. That's why hiring a coach is very important because it, it limits your time of you know what you can get done. So the um, business entity is pretty important, but not being a sole proprietor, so you're legally liable for things that way. So I like to have them be a limited liability company, et cetera, and there's over 300 tax deductions that they can take. And so I like to help people realize that they can have these tax deductions against their business income where they don't have tax de deductions against their W-2 income, and this can save them a lot of money for their families. And that, of course, is a huge benefit. You yes. know, they can make end up making a, a lot more take-home money, and that's the right. big key. Right. The other thing is, I, I know your program goes into marketing, and no business can succeed if you don't have some kind of marketing plan. Right. And for the most part, people don't have a clue how to market, do they? No, <laughs> they don't. Um, social media has become a huge industry, obviously. And when people don't realize what they should do, they're, they look different at, on every different social media. So they really should like, have the same picture, the same kind of wording. And branding themselves <coughs> online is really important. So they need to learn how to brand themselves, what's, what's appropriate, what's not, and the markets that they're going into. Let's, let's go back very simple there. A lot of people may not be sure what you're talking about when you say social media. We're talking, to begin with, Facebook. Is that really the most right. critical element? Well, well, Facebook is one of the social medias, the LinkedIn, right. Twitter, but really on Facebook, I mean, when somebody starts their own business, they're very excited, and they want to post it to the world, and they want to tell everybody, you know, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. Well, you don't want to, like, bombard your friends with all the stuff that you're doing related to your business. You have to actually bring it in a little bit and have a couple posts here and there related to your business, and, you know, still keep up with your, you know, social, your personal life on Facebook as well, because people would kind of, like, not want to watch you on Facebook if you don't. Yeah, exactly. You mentioned LinkedIn. That's yes. that you think that's important. Yes, LinkedIn is very important for business owners. <coughs> um, they just uh, have a different way of going about things than Facebook. So when you're going through all these different social medias, people don't know what I should do here, what I should do there, and so we kind of have a checklist for them to go through on what they need to put in this profile and this profile and this profile compared to their different social medias. And there are new social medias cropping up all the time. Right. Some of them don't work, some of them are good. You mentioned one that's relatively new right now, in fact I hadn't heard of it before, called Periscope. Tell right. me about that. What is that like? Well, Periscope, I mean, it's only been around since March of this year, which is incredible. Okay. And they have like 10 million um, viewers or profiles, actually. Okay. But it's really um, for people live streaming. They live stream their lives however they want to do that. And this is really good for people that are in businesses because you can make money on Periscope where you're live streaming and, and talking to somebody and they are able to answer your questions or ask you questions. So you're, you're, you're saying live stream. They're talking on, to their telephone. Yes, they're talking to their, to their smartphone. Their and people are watching them. Yes. All, all over the world. All over the world. <laughs> <laughs> How does that help? Are, they're pitching their products? Is right, that they're, they're pitching their products, but they're also giving back. You know, there's a lot of value. There's a lot of little things that I've learned. And, you know, I know that video is very important to the social media aspect, and videos are being watched tremendously. And so live streaming with that video, like if you put a title on your Periscope, you don't want to say five ways to, you know, for your golf game right. um, to help that you want to put like how to help your golf game because you want to repurpose these videos so those are the, some of the little things that I've learned that help people move forward in their business. One other key element I know is, and you're an example, I mean, you're, you're a business coach, but you have other businesses as well. If you get people interested in you as a coach, you can sometimes steer them towards some of your other businesses, right? Yes, that is true. So it benefits you in that regard. Right, absolutely, absolutely. How do you work with someone as a coach? I mean, uh, number one, do you work with them on a telephone or does it have to be in person? It doesn't have to be in person. I can work with them on the phone and, you know, we're like mobile entrepreneurs. We have our phones with us so we can work wherever our phone has service. All right. Do you work with Skype? I work with Skype a little bit, yes. And All right. Then, and, and when someone becomes a client and, and hires you as their coach, how does that relationship work? I mean, how often are you in communication with them and, and what happens? Well, we kind of figure out what they want to do and where they want to be, like, say, 30 days from now, six months from now, a year from now. Okay. And when we do that, we figure out, okay, should we work weekly together? Should we work every other week? Or, you know, should we just do monthly? But I have, like, homework for them to do in between their um, coaching sessions with me so that we just kind of want to see where they want to go and how fast they want to go and what time they have available to put into their new business. So you give them assignments, in right. other words, homework yes. to do. You, you really kind of, they're, you know, they're a conscience, I guess they are. You're trying to right. force them along to, to get going. 
that's one of the best things about coaches is people the need that yes they do they do because there's so many people procrastinate about everything in life and you know all of a sudden you wake up and you know you're older and you're like where'd this time go right. and so being accountable is really important as a coach do you, can you have any success story? Give me an, an idea of a success story that, that um, you know you could tell us. Yeah, I have this one guy. He actually sold vehicles for a living, and he was not really passionate about that. And he came to me and asked me, um, you know, where where is my passion and what what should I do? So we kind of looked at that, and he found a business he liked. He put an initial investment in. I helped him get his investment back within 30 days, and he's um, gone on to be very successful with um, his passion. So it's really wonderful. What I find amazing too is you can be a coach and you're in, you know, wherever, you, well, you're in Denver, right? Right. I mean, you can be working with people in foreign countries all around Absolutely. the world. Absolutely. And it happens. I know a lot of coaches do that. I want to point out the fact that Jill is also a contributing author to this book called The New Rules of the Game uh, that she's written with Robert Allen. Uh, it's pretty interesting and uh, it's a great chapter in there that you might you want to see if you get the hold of this. But how do you get the book? Amazon.com? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's available right. on Amazon, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So, you happy with what you're doing? I love what I do. I love helping people, and um, I have two girls, and they moved, you know, they're out of the house now because one of them's going to college and one of them's graduated college. So, I have this time freedom, and it's like I want to help other people become successful because I, I love my life, I love my lifestyle, and I just want to help other people be able to do the same. So, coaching has really had a big impact on your life. Oh, tremendously tremendously. Um, I've had coaches for the last 10 years and they've helped me in different businesses along yeah. the way but I've also joined some masterminds as well and so I, I have uh, coaches in different industries all over so whatever I want to do I definitely want to find a coach in that specific industry so that I can um, learn from them and move forward. And in this day and age it's kind of easy to do because there are coaches in every aspect of life. There are. But yours is really unique. A business coach is really something very key if you're going into business. For yourself and you don't know a lot about it right? <laughs> right true true jill thank you very much been very into how does the best way to get in touch with you what's your email or your 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 website my website it's jill neiman .com, and that's j-i-l-l-n-i-e-m-a-n-p-i-c-e-r-n-o dot com dot com c-o-m yes <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much thank you Now it's my honor to present this prestigious award to Jill Neiman Perserno, whose mentoring company is doing so much to help keep moving America forward. Jill, it's a pleasure to give this to you. Congratulations. Thank you, and I appreciate this honor and being on Moving America Forward. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. That's it for another edition of Moving America Forward. I'm Bert Tenzer. Join us again as we continue to bring you the entrepreneurs who move America forward. I'm William Shatner, and for all of us at Moving America Forward, thanks for watching.